guys, what's up? It's your boy Michael, the one, the only, the Iron Horse Historian. Today, we will be talking about the GE C30-7. The C30-7 rolled out of GE's Erie, Pennsylvania shops in September of 1976. The very first one was Burlington Northern number 5500. In terms of improvements, the C30-7 had a 16% greater fuel efficiency compared to the U30C, improved tractive effort, and an upgraded electrical system. Despite being the same length as the U30C, in terms of visual differences, the C30-7 featured a flared radiator, a wider hood, and a notch for the oil cooler, which was the easiest way to tell the U30C and C30-7 apart. On the inside, the GE C30-7 came with a four-cycle FDL 16-cylinder engine, a GT11AC main generator, a GY27 auxiliary generator, a GY27 alternator, Westinghouse compressor, Westinghouse air brakes, and then came built with trucks such as Adirondack, Rockwell, or Floating Bolster FB3 six-wheel trucks. They had a top speed of 70 miles per hour, a starting tractive effort of 91,600 pounds, a continuous tractive effort of 91,500 pounds, a weight of 366,000 pounds, a length of 67 feet 3 inches, and for the horn, the C30-7 came built with horns such as a Leslie S5T, Leslie S3L, and Leslie S3K. A total of 10 railroads use the C30-7. These include, but are not limited to, Conrail, the Union Pacific, and the Seaboard Coastline. Out of all 10, the railroad with the largest fleet was the National Railways of Mexico, with a grand total of 349 C30-7s. In second came Burlington Northern with 242, and the Santa Fe came in third with 157. The GE C30-7 could be seen as far south as Brazil and as far east as Mongolia, where the previous U30C sold just 606 units, GE sold nearly twice as many C30-7s at 1,128 units. Also, the timing of General Electric couldn't have been better thanks to a national coal boom. The Burlington Northern, thanks to the new C30-7, was able to move vast quantities of coal out of Wyoming's Powder River Basin. While no longer in service on Class 1s, you can still find the C30-7 in action on regional and short-line railroads. As of April 2024, only one C30-7 still exists. That being Louisville and Nashville number 7067, which can be found at the Kentucky Steam Heritage Corporation in Irving, Kentucky. There was another C30-7 number 7087 in preservation on the New Hope and Ivy land, but according to trainorders.com, railwaypreservationnews.com, and visual confirmation from Grassroots Motorsports, number 7087 has sadly been cut up. At the very least, we still have videos, photographs, scale models, and one C30-7 still in preservation, albeit cosmetically. 